as usual, I'll show you an example. Uh, so this is example project, and I'll show you exactly what we'll be trying to do today. Okay, so play. And very simple, I have my character, I have enemy. If I touch the enemy, I start to blink, and uh, I've lost just one tick of my energy. And this should happen in this specific example five times before I die. But you can also pick up some health potions, so your health goes back, right? back but now uh, the health is at its maximum so I can't take any more uh, potions and if I lose all my energy okay one again okay now uh, I, I'm dead okay so this is very simple this is what we'll be trying to do today um, I know there are some tutorials about this already uh, but what I didn't see maybe it's uh, flexibility of this uh, health bar right so I will show you how we can actually make it very flex flexible and configurable we'll be able to configure max health of the health bar so how how much health uh, our player can have uh, at maximum and also I'll show you how we can uh, make this uh, health bar resizable so we can resize it in any size we want and it will still work uh, as expected okay so uh, let me start an empty almost empty project and uh, I'll show you step by step how to do this all right so this is my almost empty project uh, means that I have no events here other than you know I resize the window I center the window here so this is the only thing I have here uh, in terms of uh, these objects here what I have for these three is I have platformer uh, character uh, behavior so for this one it's obviously because I will move this uh, character so I have platformer behavior here and for these ones uh, I put platformer just uh, just just because I want them to fall on the ground right so I I, I'm, I removed here uh, default control so you can you can't actually move these objects they will just you know if I run the game they just fall on this floor so that's the only reason I used it and obviously this one is the floor so it has platform behavior and I have my health bar which is just a just a square you know it doesn't matter how big you want to do it it's just a, just a square yeah, so at the moment uh, each size doesn't matter uh, so so what, how do we start this right so um, as I said I want to I want this to be configurable I want this to be flexible so uh, first thing I want to uh, the scene to know is um, how much health our character has at the moment and how much health it could have uh, maximum right so after like I don't know if uh, let, let's start to add it so let's add uh, first variable health okay and this is the initial value so with how much health we want our character to start with I'll put five so uh, and I add another variable which is very important it will be very helpful in this uh, example we call it max health and as term suggests, this is the maximum health that our character can have, and I'll put 5 here as well. The numbers here are, do, do not really matter, because as I said, it's going to be very flexible, so it uh, doesn't matter which numbers we put here. Uh, our system will be able to display, uh, thanks to this health bar, exactly your current status. Okay. Uh, so once we've done this, uh, I want to add uh, an extension as well uh, to this project because as you saw in my example our character was blinking when you touch the enemy so I have used an extension for this and to do that you just go here project manager uh, you go to functions and behaviors just here and search for new extension and search for uh, it's flash or blink I don't remember flash blink so both words just click on it and install to the project okay so now we can use this uh, and I'll show you later how to use it. so let's go to our events and the first thing we want to do here is to make sure that when we do certain things in our scene uh, our uh, variables change right so first thing we're gonna do is like if we touch uh, if we are in collision with our enemy uh, we will subtract uh, one from our variable health so if we collide with this uh, enemy it will become four if you do it again it will become three two one until we die okay so to do that we just add a new condition and say player is in collision with uh, enemy and also 
don't never forget to put trigger ones because otherwise it will just continuously happen so once we if we touch our enemy it will just subtract very quickly uh, one by one but if you uh, say trigger once it will just subtract one until you touch it again okay so that's cool uh, what we're gonna do here we choose our player we choose our variable modify uh, a variable of an object and the variable we're gonna modify is health so current health uh, we subtract one okay and this will happen in the background so our health bar will not reflect that because it's not connected to those variables in any way uh, but that's a good first step and uh, another thing I want to do here is actually make our character blink so you remember we added that extension so I add also player flash or blink and the only thing we put here is the duration so for how long it should do it okay and I put like 1.5 seconds but I also want to make sure that it doesn't uh, take any damage my character doesn't take any damage while it's blinking so I'll just add another condition here player and I check if it's blink if it's flashing and I invert condition right so what happens here is like if our uh, player is in collision with the enemy and it's not blinking uh, during that time then we just uh, subtract one from our health and make our object blink so let's try and this should work all right so our object blinking 1.5 seconds finished we can do this again and our object blinking so that's cool that's a classic effect on how you can display damage to your player so uh, that works but our health bar is not working at the moment so uh, what do we do here so one thing we could do is like when we touch when uh, our uh, player touches the enemy we can just subtract uh, you know uh, some pixels from our modify the width of our uh, health bar just here but it's not what I what, what I want to uh, do here I just want this health bar to be always displaying what's going on with uh, our enemy uh, and it will just update itself continuously all times so I'll just add a new empty event and I leave empty here so this means this thing will happen always uh, and I add a condition and so how do we want to display the amount of health I will just modify the width of our health bar so the size of it so width and what it should display always it should always display our current health right but if i put here like equals to uh, value let's say um player dot variable health okay this will never gonna work because our player variable uh, can be from um sorry our player variable can uh, um, can range from 1 to 5 and this will convert the width of our health bar into pixels from 1 to 5 I can show you it straight away you see it's 5 it's 5 pixels 4 3 3 2 1 and 0 so it's a kind of a mini health bar but it's not what we want to do I want to give you the flexibility to actually set exact size you want for your health bar and at the same time it should still work uh, depending on how much health our character have and how much max health it should have so I'll show you uh, how to do that it's uh, we will be using a little bit of maths and uh, this is I'm not good at it but uh, it's a nice formula and we can we will recall as well uh, our variables so so how do we do this okay so uh, health bar uh, sorry uh, with equals to what so first value uh, it's gonna be the total width of our um, uh, our health bar so how long you, you want it to make right so if I want it to be 100 pixels I just put 100 but I divide it uh, by um, uh, our max health so if our max health is uh, uh, 5 so we will take those 100 pixels and divide it by 5 right so let's choose player uh, variable max health so we divided our uh, our health bar which is 100 pixels long in five equal pieces 
but then we need to display our current uh, health so I'll just multiply that all of that by uh, another variable which is our current health so player variable health so what we did here is we modify continuously at all times because we have no condition here the width the size of our health bar uh, which will display you which will divide your health bar uh, will take like this number so if it's 100 pixels so it will make it 100 pixels long divide it in five equal uh, pieces and display these uh, five little pieces depending on how much health you have at the moment okay so just run the project and see what that does one and you see our health bar decreased by some pixels but it will decrease that way five times by equal parts until it will just disappear okay done so that's what what it does and this is uh, the most of the work we had to do for this um, so uh, the next step uh, is to actually uh, add a potion so we can actually get our health back uh, so add a new condition and obviously we say player sorry player is in collision with uh, health potion always remember trigger once very important otherwise it will make a mess uh, and what we're going to do first of all we actually modify our health variable so our health bar will immediately show you that change so um, player variable modify variable of an object and the variable is health and this time we add one Okay, so if we touch the enemy, we subtract one, and if we touch our uh, our potion, we add one. Okay, and immediately after this, I want to delete uh, our health potion, so you can just take it once. So I just uh, selected health potion, uh, delete an object. Okay, so you will see immediately that if I take damage from my enemy and I take the potion, our health will go back. Uh, and that's cool, that's working, uh, but one thing I want to make sure that I can take uh, more uh, health potions that I actually need. So, I, knowing that my health um, uh, maximum health is 5, I want to make sure that if my current health is also 5, I can't take any potions anymore. So, to do that, uh, I add another condition and I say that if, uh, uh, and I say that my player variable uh, variable of an object health is greater or equal than my player variable variable um, max health and we invert the condition okay so what this does is basically says that you can only take the potion if your current health is not equal or greater than your max health, right? So, uh, sorry, I misspelled here. Health. Yeah, that's cool. So, means that we will take a potion and we will increase our health variable by one only if our current health is not bigger than our max health. So let me run the project and I'll show you. So if I now go here, I shouldn't be able to take my potion. And as you see, I cannot take it unless I, my health, current health is less than five. So then I can actually take it. So that's another very useful thing that and uh, our, you know, variables that we created at the beginning helped us to solve. Okay. And uh, that's all works. and. You know, the last thing I want to do here is actually to make our player finally die, <laughs> you know, so uh, another condition and then say if my player variable, uh, what if an object variable uh, health is equal or less than zero. Okay, if that happens, I just change the scene and I go to my uh, your dead scene. Okay, change the scene, dead. I already created this, so I have it. And let's just run this and this all should now work. So I take the damage, I take my potion, I take damage again, I take it again. And now I should actually die. Ok, 
Okay, I'm dead now, so I can restart the game again. So I think that's that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, there is not much, uh, no man, not many uh, conditions and events we put here, but we made sure that our health bar is extremely flexible. You know, um, like uh, extremely flex. Uh, actually, let me show you how flexible it is. Okay, so if if we are not happy with the size of the health bar and we need it to be not 100 pixels, but we want it to be 200 pixels, that's fine. Let's put 200 here then. And now we don't have to do anything else because our health bar will still be using those variables and we'll divide now our current health bar which is bigger in five equal pieces as well so it will take our 200 uh, pixels and divide it by five equal parts okay so this is pretty cool because it's all flexible uh, but you know, if I decide that at the moment I I don't know uh, I don't want to have my maximum health uh, five, but I want it to be three, and my current health is three, so I want this bar to be divided in three equal parts. This is what I do, did. You know, I just put new values here, and now my 200 pixels long bar will be divided in three pieces. One, two three and I'm dead so it's all working you just have to change a few settings here and there and it's extremely adaptable and flexible to all your needs so uh, and this is pretty much it you know uh, thanks for watching uh, I will upload this project to my HIO page so you can just download it and you know mess around with this uh, and I'm doing this from now on for all my tutorials okay and so if you did like my tutorial um, and you find it helpful, please subscribe. I have many more uh, tutorials on my channel. And um, you can suggest some other tutorials if you want me to make some other stuff as well. And um, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter. Please join my Discord server. And uh, see you next time for, uh, for another tutorial.